welcome back to another week of our family devotions. We're so glad that you're back with us. Um, we're doing something a little different this week, but before we get to that, we have to announce our winner from last week. Oh. They are going to win the Spark Storybook Bible. And are you guys ready for the winner? Yeah. Can you give me a drum roll? Drum roll. And our winner is Karen Ennis. Yay! Yay, Karen! All right, we will send you that in the mail, and I'll get with you, and I'll verify your address, and we'll get that out to you. And this week, Pastor Anthony, you want to tell us what we're doing this week? I get to be a part. I know, you we're guys so have, excited. You guys have seen like you've been having so much fun with Elmer and Professor Science, and I feel left out. No. So can I be in it this week? Yeah. Yes. So we are doing something different. The last couple of weeks, you guys have been doing out of family devotions that we love. Um, this week, since we talked about what last yesterday in the Kid Connect, what was what was Sunday was yesterday? Palm Sunday. Very good. We talked about Jesus' triumphal entry. We're actually going to read some of the stories uh, that lead up to Easter of what Easter is all about in Kaylee's Adventure Bible. <laughs> um, the Adventure Bible is one of our favorite kids bibles we always come back to them people say what bible do you want do you like for kids this is it in mm -hmm. fact like it, it's gone all the way back I've, <laughs> I've got my adventure bible right here from when i was a kid oh my all goodness. right this was given to me by nana and papa my my parents um <laughs> when i was nine years old is anybody else nine years old in here yes who <laughs> me. oh you are <laughs> yeah do you like my little tabs those are for sword drills. Yeah, you know, I knew old it. Old school and kids' church sword drills. What's a sword drill? It's where you, uh, they would name a On scripture. your head in kids' church. Yeah, you put your Bible on your head, they would name a picture, and the first person to find it. So like to John 3.16, and you'd have to find it. So these were my cheating things. Before, <laughs> before I was in junior Bible quiz, and then I could say all the books of the Bible. <laughs> you know? So, it's cool. Yeah. So we're going to read from uh, Matthew chapter 21, was where that's where it starts, Jesus' triumphal entry. Mm -hmm. Um, and I want you guys to listen, and I'm going to ask some questions afterward. We're going to ask what stood out to you, um, what maybe lesson can be learned, and then what we can, uh, how we can apply it to our lives, okay? Does that sound good to everybody? Yes. Yeah. All right, so here we go. Jesus clears out the mm. temple. My Jesus entered the temple courtyard, and he began to drive out all those who were buying and selling there. He turned over the tables of the people who were exchanging money, and he also turned over the benches of those who were selling doves. When I say turn over, he was like tossing them, like flipping them. Ooh, yeah. He was not happy with what was going on. Oh, you okay? Um, he said to them, uh, it is written that the Lord said, my house uh, will be called a house where people can pray, but you are making it a den for robbers. Blind people and those who were disabled came to Jesus at the temple. There he healed them. The chief priests and the teachers of the law saw the wonderful things he did. They also saw the children in the temple of the courtyard shouting, Hosanna to the son of David. But when they, yeah, when they saw all this, they became angry. Mm. Do you hear what these children are saying? They asked him. <laughs> but he said no. You didn't hear it? Our little light went off. Oh no. It's okay. Yeah. They, they can still see us. Um, yes, replied Jesus. Haven't you ever read it in scripture? It says, Lord, you have made sure that children and infants praise you. Then Jesus left the people and went out of the city to Bethany. He spent the night there. So did any part of that particularly stick out to you? Him tossing over tables? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it. Normally, a lot of times when we talk about, oh, careful, careful. Michael, don't knock over all the stuff there. Yeah. Um, when we talk about Jesus, you always hear about the calm, Jesus mm -hmm. teaching. This is one of the, the few times you kind of see, uh, it almost like Jesus has a righteous anger, you know? But do, do you know what they were doing? Well, I know I explained this earlier, um, but what was happening here? Why was Jesus mad at, at these people? At the, what they... The best reference I give you at church. They were selling stuff, but they, and they were kind of robbing the people. So they were selling all these things that people wanted to sacrifice to God, but they were they were ripping people off, basically. You know, like if I wanted to sell you this scout and it was normally twenty dollars, and I knew you needed it, well, I'm like, hey, you know, hey, forty bucks, forty bucks, you know, like they, they it was just not. 
It was not the proper way. It's kind of and, like toilet paper online right now. Yeah, toilet paper. <laughs> that's a great example, Miss Kristen. Oh my goodness, um, that's a perfect example. Uh, but yeah, they were they were robbing people. And what I love about the Bible that we don't like give enough credit to all the time is how. Like, in this story, Jesus is doing a lot of things. Like, at the beginning, he's saying, this is wrong. This is not how the, the temple should be used. But he doesn't just say it. What does he then do? Liberal table and benches. Well, right. But so he does all that. He shows what's wrong. Then he says it when people are like, what are you doing? He's like, this isn't what the church, this isn't what the temple is supposed to be used for. Then blind people and disabled people came to Jesus. And what did he do? He healed, them. he healed them and then children were coming and they were worshiping right and they, they were celebrating Jesus and they were and and Jesus was like yeah of course they are yeah. you know and and so he was showing what the church should be used for as a place for healing and teaching and because he goes on and, and we're gonna see some of the stories he tells and teachings and he's like setting it up as the right thing to do the right way you know of what church should be all about um, <laughs> So, wait, what do you think? How does that apply right now? What do you think? What do you think? What, 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 can, what could be different about our lives? Or what should we be doing now when we read this? They should stop selling toilet paper. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's They're at very high, high prices. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, that's one thing. We should be honest, right? That's a very good thing to pull yeah. out of this. That's a good thing that, that God, Jesus honors us. We, he wants us to be honest with right. others and to treat people with respect and Ooh. dignity, especially when it comes to the things of God, yes. right? Anything else? <laughs> no. How about does God love it when kids worship? Yeah. Oh yeah, it's like yes, super yes, special. Yes. You, <laughs> That's a really good job, Miss Kristen. What 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 is the big thing that you get out of this? Yes, yes, yes. I, I think that that God wants us to humble ourselves when we come before Him and just know that God is He's in control and that He has the power to do these things to heal and yeah. He, he just wants us to come honest before Him. Right, and and. In the New Testament, you see all this stuff like the church isn't a building. Like we're right. seeing that now, like how connected yeah. people are. And, and we're getting to kind of practice all of this it's even true. more right now than normal. Mm -hmm. But it's it's wherever if it's wherever people who love God come together, no matter how we come together and treat each other and, and share that message. And one thing that I love too, this is a great reminder of adults. We don't always get it. Like when Jesus even laid, you know, in, in other areas talks about like having faith like a child, mm -hmm. you know, it's you guys sometimes can connect with God better than adults because we grow up and we get so jaded and we miss mm -hmm. out, you know? And so sometimes like, I know having the three of you in my life has helped me understand God more. Yeah. And like, see, like, I don't really remember what it was like to be four. <laughs> Do you remember what it's like to be four? I hope so, because you're yes, living it. <laughs> but seeing you guys grow up and seeing the genuineness, it, it helps me. And so if you're a kid watching right now, like, you guys are an inspiration to the adults. You know, you just love God and give us an example of what it means to love God. That's right. Anything else, guys? No. Miss Kristen, do you want to close us out and pray? Sure. I'll pray. All right, let's bow our heads and close our, our eyes. <laughs> Dear Lord, thank you so much for being with us. And God, as we celebrate you and what you've done for us this week, help us to remember all the things that, you, that you've said to us, that you're trying to teach us through these things, that the events that happened this week. And I just pray, Lord, that we can, we can understand and that we can um, just focus on you. And we love you and we praise you in your name. Amen. Amen. So I think this week what we're going to do is anybody who likes, comments, or shares, we're going to actually give one of these adventure Bibles. Right. Yeah. Um, and we'll kind of coordinate because they now they have, like, obviously Kaylee got the pink and purple. Yes. Um, but if you have a boy or a grandson or niece or nephew, mm -hmm. do you have the same yes. one? Yes. Avery has the exact same one. <laughs> um, yeah. So uh, also, I don't know if you've noticed yet, but we're going to, we've, we've got a little Easter egg hunt going on in these videos. So it's, um, not, it's not an actual Easter egg. It's... Right. There's just someone that you know that will be visiting on Easter Sunday. So be looking around, and if you can pick it out, I think what did you, we have three prizes, right? We do. We have three today. prizes to give out. So 
kid, parents, you're not going to get it. I didn't get it because I, you know, <laughs> Miss Krista, she leads the kids ministry, um, and so I, they had to explain to me who this special person was. Um, so he's hidden somewhere. I don't want to give it away, and we might get a little easier throughout the week. <laughs> but right now, it's a little tough. They, they all we start off tough. Yeah, start out tough. <laughs> All right. Does that sound good, everybody? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Bye. 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 Have a good night. <laughs> and now I tickle all of you. No. <laughs>